Now on the surface, pardon the pun, Windows 10 S looks and feels just like any other version of Windows 10. In fact, it really is, uh, with one big exception, and that is you can only install things that come from the Microsoft Store. So here's an example. I downloaded uh, the Google Chrome web browser setup from Google, and if I click to run that setup application, it's not going to let me install it. It says for security and performance, Windows 10 S only runs verified apps from the store, capital store, because it's referring to Microsoft's own store here. And if your app is not in this store, it will not install with Windows 10 S. So for example, if I look for Google Chrome, I'm not going to find it on here because at the time that I'm shooting this, uh, Google does not make their Chrome browser accessible to Microsoft Store, and therefore I cannot install it. So I'm going to be uh, stuck with the Edge browser. I also looked for Firefox on there as well, not there either. So I'm sure at some point those folks might move over to uh, the store if there's enough users of Windows 10 S to justify it. But at this point, your favorite apps may not be accessible on uh, your device. Likewise, if you have things on a, on a USB stick, for example, so let me just close this window out for a second here. And if I go over to, uh, for example, just an application that I can run usually direct from a USB stick. I'm going to get uh, the same uh, message here. It says, for security and performance, this mode of Windows only runs verified apps from the store. Now, it does give you the option, though, if you want to override this, but it's going to potentially cost you some extra money. So in order to basically install or run whatever you want, uh, you do have to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. And for 2017, that upgrade is free for Windows 10 S users. However, after 2017, it's going to cost $50 to make that upgrade. So right now I can click free here in the store. And after I do that, Windows will become magically unlocked. And then I can install uh, other software on here. So that is really the big difference here between Windows 10 S and other versions of Windows. If your favorite app isn't in the store, it's not accessible unless you upgrade to Pro. For the rest of the year, it's not such a big deal. It's free to do so. But after that, you're going to have to add 50 bucks to whatever you paid for your PC to get that privilege. Let's see how magical this is. I'm going to go ahead and click this free uh, upgrade here and see what happens. I'll click install and it's wanting to know if I've saved all my files. I'll say, yeah, let's go. I guess it must be a reboot involved here to make this work. So uh, it's going to unlock Windows. I would imagine that uh, Windows already has everything it needs built in. It's just a matter of uh, getting a license switch turned on here. So let's see what happens here and uh, how seamless, hopefully, this process will be. So it only took about five minutes or so to do everything. It looked like it was doing an update. That was pretty much what it felt like. Uh, so now that we're done here, let's log back into our uh, computer and see if we now have a full version of Windows accessible to us here. So. Uh, there we go. It says, success, we have switched your PC to Windows 10 Pro. Uh, this is permanent, by the way, and it's locked to the PC that does it. So if you want to go back to Windows 10 S, you're out of luck. I'm guessing maybe you could reinstall it or something. I don't think you can get at the moment Windows 10 S on its own. Uh, so if we go over here to uh, back to my downloads folder, for example, let's try to install Chrome now. And we should get that uh, little security screen popping up here. Yep, there we go. And uh, now it looks like we're able to install applications on our computer that are not on the Windows Store. So in many ways, this Windows 10 S is very limiting, although at the moment it's very easy to get out of it. I think from a security standpoint, it might be better for uh, some folks who tend to click on things that they shouldn't click on. It certainly won't make you immune to whatever Windows vulnerabilities are discovered, but it does add an additional layer of security to prevent uh, apps that have not been verified by Microsoft first from getting onto your machine. So that's a plus, but again, after 2017, it'll cost you $50 to get out of that uh, little bit of a jail there. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger and Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.